tutorial on Cinema 4D. So today I'm going to be showing you how to create 3D text. I just learned this myself, so let's get started. So you go to MoGraph, click and hold, and then click on Mo Text. You'd want to click on it, go to Object. Oh, it's not responding. Okay, good. So now we have this thing. So let's just do tut tut wait no tutorial ah hold the wrong tutorial okay let's zoom out so we have the word tutorial so for depths I usually go to eighty no 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 no, 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 no. leave it at twenty right now so then. You want to control C over mo text and control V, then you'll have two. On the um, first, the original one, you want to go to caps, fill it cap on both. So now you have this pretty cool kind of 3D text. So let's go back to the first one. We type in 80. And when for this one, we do 40. Now, what I like to do is take the one that is selected. Let's go back a little. Move the blue arrow. Like this. Then change that one to fill it cap. If I believe... Yeah, I think that's centered. So now we go to the we go to object, then click our font. Oh god, that was weird. Okay, let's find this font that I want to use. Uh, let me do this quickly. I don't want to do Minecraft. That's too generic. Let's try this one. Okay, so this one was Mayo. So we'll go to this one and do the same thing. Mayo. M M. Mayo. Okay, over here. So now we have this. So if we go back to this one, to the forty, fill it cap and that left height yes. Depth. Yeah, I think you can actually see it. Yeah, you can see it. Okay. So now, we kind of want to get the colors in. So we double tick over here. Double click over here. We have this. We click on that. We choose a color we want. This is going to be my outside color, which is going to be black. And we just, it's going to be plain black. And we're going to drag that into the middle one. And then we have... Okay, this is just getting weird. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. So now we can see it perfectly. Wait, wait. Yeah. So, um, now, we want to do the t tutorial color. We do that again, double click, click that one, and I want to make that red. So we click the color again, go to red, press OK, we, then we go on, um, change the texture to Frenzel. That's what I usually do. Oh, wait, never mind clear just red go to transparency change uh, the brightness to 50 ish and change the reflect go to reflection change that to 20 ish so now when we're done we exit out and drag that in to this so now we have ourselves 
a cool little text. So let's get let's get ourselves a plane. Oh, sorry, not like that. Oh wait, why didn't I delete that? Plane, turn that to maximum. One zero zero. Oh, one whatever. One okay. We have that. I'm not gonna open up my like really extreme li lighting kit. I'm just gonna take the a normal one. Over here. So let's quickly render this out. Take the light, make that closer. And then let's render it. So then that's pretty cool. So um, if we don't want if you don't want this, that's fine. And you just go to render settings. I change this to two zero four eight one one five two. Go to save PNG alpha channel. Go to anti-aliasing, go to best, go to effect, click ambient occlusion, click evaluate transparency, then go to global illusion, and then press exit. And now let's quickly render this out. I'll bring you back when this renders. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, so this is the end. So yeah, hope you guys liked it. Peace guys.